All right, everybody. Paul from Fiesta Adventures here, and I am with my brother Larry. Hi. From uh, Monterey, and uh, there's my sprinter band in the back, and Larry has come to join me in his 1962 BW camper. camper. Yeah. Westphalia camper. Yeah. So we're gonna have Larry show us around a little bit and just talk about it and uh, tell us about this thing and what he's done to it. I got this about seven, eight years ago. Um, I redid the top on it and you know painted it all new rubber and everything on it. But I didn't do the bottom because the bottom's okay and I didn't want to make it too nice. When you say the bottom, what do you mean by the bottom? From here down. Okay. So the darker green was not repainted, but this part was all repainted. So anyway. what is the, is there a name for the color on this? This is called Turkus. Turkus, yeah. like circus, but yeah, Turkus? Turkus yeah, Turkus Circus, yeah. But anyway, so another important thing is we've been all around with my daughters and uh, with my wife. We've gone to several national parks, and these are all the national parks we've been to in the last few years. Some of them are getting a little old, but... So that was... To, to get those stickers, that was kind of a thing back in the like 60s and stuff? Or yeah. Is it, is it still a thing? Or? It's still kind of a thing on campers, but yeah, back then they did it. They were more colorful. I like these ones because they were, uh, you know, they're an old style one. The new ones, and they don't hold up as well. But anyway, so here's the camper. And so what happens here is we'll remove the sleeping bag. Anyway, so this is called a flip seat because this seat flips over. So it's like this when you're driving and then you've got a little seat here that flips up too. So you got that and you've got an ice box. To keep so when ice for, for the young folks out there, tell us what an ice box is. <laughs> you put ice, it's like a cooler. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't refrigerate. But anyway, it has a little hatch here goes up that you can either get air or stand up if you have to change or anything like that has a little closet in here and uh, you know a bunch of other cubbies and stuff like that so this is like the original kind of configuration this is exactly original these cabinets are all original haven't been restored one of these days I'll get to it um, the seat I had redone in a similar pattern but not exactly the same, but they're, they're pretty much the same. All the wood, I redid the wood and stuff too. So that's uh, all redone. And that's how it came stock also. So what about cooking and uh, is there any gas stove or <laughs> Well, no, but you have in the back, here. in the back here, what they do is they have, you know, there's more storage areas for your food and stuff like that. And then for cooking, what they do is they have this, this little thing, it slides like that. So let's say you're in a, you know, in the normal spot, it, it folds down like this. And then you take out your stove, you know, your Coleman camper. There's one in there. Um, <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so you got the Coleman, you pull that out, you can set it right here and cook. So you're like indoors. But if it's like, if it was really stormy and rainy, you, what you can do is you can turn this so it faces forward and fold that down. And then you have a, a cook area right by where the fridge is. Your spare tire is right here. So, and then of course your engine is right under that. So right in there. What's going on with the engine? Is it, is it like a stock engine or? Yes. It, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty much stock. I like running them pretty much stock because they're more reliable that way. So does that mean, so 62, does that mean it's a 40 horse? No, it's it, upgraded to a 1600, which was the biggest they ever put in a bus. Okay. An early bus, yeah. so yeah. And then, so your driver's compartment is pretty straightforward and uh, you know, you have a speedo and a gas gauge. Gas gauge, first year of the gas stage, 1962. So how did they do it before they had a gas gauge? <laughs> they had a reserve ladder, lever. So what you did was when you ran out of gas, you pulled the lever and you had one more gallon of fuel. So that was it. But you know, most people just kept track of the mileage. And so let's say you'd go 200 miles on a tank of gas. 
they would know just before 200 get gas. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna move. Should I get on the other side, Larry? Well, if you wanna help, yeah, go ahead. Get on the other side. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and flip the seat. So what you do is you do that. Let's see if Paul got it, yeah. So then you go like this, and this is how it is when you camp, and then that'll just stay like this, and we'll fold out the bed. And actually, just so you know, if you did it more, this would be a seat, and you could have a group sit around the little area here, and there's a table that goes in the center. Okay, so basically what we've done is we've just gotten this thing out of the, out of the way, right? That's correct. So then, when you, so yeah, we're all set in there. All right, let's close this up. And then, what we do now is we get our bed out. So there's, there's actually, there's three cushions. One here, one here. And so if, if, if two people are sleeping, the bed will come out all the way to here. And so it's comfortable enough for three people. But when I go camping, I just use the two. And that's it. And then you put the pillow here. And your sleeping bag. And your feet go out down there and they can overhang. So the good thing about this, what people really like, is for tall people, your feet can hang off over the edge. I see, and then if the van starts moving that night or something, you can steer with your feet. Yeah, it, that's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. Got it. Anyway, see, now we're all set up. Pretty ready sweet. for a cozy, cozy. So thing. if you were to say now, compared to the Sprinter. Oh, this is much better. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> would you say slightly more comfortable, about the same, or slightly less comfortable? Or, Just a, maybe a little or bit Or way less. more comfortable. A little bit less, I would say. All right, so how long have you had this, Larry? About seven years, uh -huh. and you know, I fixed it up. Did like I said, did the upholstery in the interior, the curtains, yeah. and uh, the wood, and painted the top with all the new seals around the windows and stuff. So one of the things I'd like to point out to all of you in uh, TV land out there is that one of the differences between Larry and a lot of the next guys is you know they all restore these things and they'll bring them to a show or something. It's, when it comes to driving them any distance, they. Uh, tend to uh, maybe not do that, but Larry actually takes this thing out and camps. Uh, yeah, been to Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado, Utah, you know, Nevada, and up and down California, Oregon, Washington, so all over the western United States. And of course I wanted to do some more trips, so. So what happened this time is that uh, I was able to book a campground due to a camp cancellation at uh, one of my favorite places that uh, it's now my favorite, but it's been Larry's favorite place <laughs> since like the 80s because he's yeah. been coming down here forever. The Kirk Creek Campground in Big Sur, and uh, I was able to secure uh, a campground from some, some cancellations. Invited Larry, so he's jumped in the bus and came down to join me. So every chance I get, you yeah, know, so we gotta go. So anyway, for thanks for coming along for the ride. If you like the video, please do give it a thumbs up and uh, feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. I've got a lot of fun adventures coming. Anyway, thanks, Larry, for showing us the van. You betcha. Bye-bye now. <clears throat>